Hi, this is Gary Kay. I'm here with Brahm Hans, who is the uh, head of marketing for LG Europe. Uh, first off, thank you for doing this. Um, we're here to specifically talk about your transparent OLED or the T OLED product. So many form factors, so many applications for this product. Uh, we're going to talk about this one behind us in just a second. But, you know, uh, transparent OLED was something that we saw the concept of transparent displays, the first time I ever saw it was a minority report, yeah. you know, like 20 years ago. And all of a sudden I come to a trade show, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I see uh, LG showing this uh, concept. Now you have it as a finished product. What are the top three applications for transparent OLED? Yeah, so the typical application, also where we're standing here, will be the retail environment, particularly with the point of sale. Um, the alternative is to use it, for instance, in virtual or augmented settings. Yeah, we're going to show that too, actually. Absolutely. So the virtual, for instance, being a virtual concierge or reception desk, for instance, where it just replaces staff in that sense. And the third most obvious ones, where we actually traditionally came from, is where it, it can replace the typical windows. Windows as room dividers, sliding doors, anything as such, where with the application of the OLED, you can just use it for digital signage in that sense. Yeah, we're actually going to show you that. We're going to show all these applications uh, to you as we uh, as we uh, go through this video. We're actually here live with one one of your products now, which is a which is a touch enabled 30 inch OLED display. Um, so if I actually want to uh, find something on here, I can just. I mean, this is amazing that you've actually added touch to this technology. Yeah, and it's one of the newer developments, also the 30 inch plus then the touch. Um, but you see that also the form factor of 30 inch with the touch actually creates a lot more opportunities versus the 55 inch which you had so far with touch. Yeah, and, and, and she was just showing the thinness of this. Uh, it's about, I don't know, about a half the thickness of a typical smartphone. Um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know how how small this is yet it's very rigid i mean this is a good this is a like you said a typical retail display application you also have it here in kind of a kiosk application showing your larger form factor 55 inch yeah no absolutely so this is the more traditional setting in that sense this is um, what has been on sale until now but we're introducing the 30 inch here um, today um, and this this uh, application here is also as you can see with the interactive and augmented uh, benefits of the traditional TO LED with then the benefits of the resolution, which you, com for instance, don't have on other technologies which offer transparency. Yeah, and uh, augmented because we can put, you know, pricing information. By the way, that can be changed dynamically too, or any any kind of educational information about the product and the different form factors that you show this in. Over, for example, over here, this, you know, aesthetically just looks beautiful, but also it's very practical for a, a standalone uh, retail display. Absolutely, and that's also the, the beauty of the product. So, um, in our concepts, we our concepts are our current products. We do sell them as open frame, um, so they do allow it actually to be put in these kind of displays. So the the, the use of these displays is various. We can't, of course, ma make a um, full. POS box in that sense, we're display manufacturers. So in that sense, we're very happy to make this as a um, as an open frame product, which could meet all of these purposes, like we see here in the different scenarios, different environments. You can kind of assemble it the way you want. In fact, the outside of your stand here actually is using uh, TOLED, and it looks like Windows when you're on the outside. I mean, until you realize it's a it's a display technology. We're seeing it from the backside, but um, we're showing you now some uh, footage of it. Uh, as you see it from standing outside of the display here, that's 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 an example of what we're watch, looking at now is an example of um, of replacing a window uh, or using it, augmenting a window for retail purposes and sort of changing the environment. Right? I mean, you're putting a display where no one expected it. Absolutely, and even in our typical setup, this will be just plain wooden walls in that sense. Yeah. Um, these are currently being replaced. The, the beauty of this installation at this moment is it's also synchronized with other content on other technologies. So we have this synchronized currently with LED as an example. So you can see that the transparent OLED really enhances and amplifies other screens. And that, in my opinion, creates a beautiful perspective for this uh, so, display. So, so where does this go? Where's the future of this? How big can you go? And uh, where do you see, like if I were to jump ahead a few years from now, where do you see this uh, kind of pushing the limits? So we've seen many developments on traditional OLED, and for OLED we are expecting also developments in the, in the, um, the direction of dimensions. Like here we're introducing 30 inch on top of our 55 inch. We've added touch over the years, and also of course traditional OLED we've added flexibility, which are areas we might explore for the future of the OLED. And how big? How, how big do you think we can get? 
how big the current OLED technology allows us. <laughs> and uh, you know, if we go in the future, there's so many different creative applications here. I think you mentioned it earlier. You, you know, the, the mind is the limitation, right? You, you kind of get yourself boxed into what you've seen before, and you with with uh, T LED, T OLED, you can build whatever your mind can imagine. And that's the thing. So don't think about your typical sinus applications, but think further. Think about where you would put windows in. Think about where you would put other static displays in. But TOLED can enhance it so much further. Looking on the path of augmented reality, that's, I think, one of the areas we really want to explore further. This is an amazing technology. If you want to learn more and how TOLED can help you in any kind of application, anything that you can imagine, all you have to do is, is, is just click on any of the links that you're seeing right now on the screen and they will take you to the T-OLED section of the LG website or of course you can always Google uh, LG OLED, it's going to take you there. Uh, Brom, thank you very much for doing this, I appreciate it. Thanks for the tour and uh, have, have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much Gary, really appreciate it. Thank you, thanks for watching.